When it's time to decorate for Halloween, let's add some creepy creatures. Blogger Morena Hockley of Morena's Corner loves to repurpose everyday things into something new. She crafts right along with her four children who love to create too. They used canning jars to make a whole container full of googly eyeballs and some silly spiders for Halloween. Today, we're gonna make them right along with her. You're gonna need some basic ingredients, including some glitter glue, some gel glue, glitter paint, different sizes of styrofoam balls, some chenille stems, tissue paper, and your handy dandy tools of scissors, paint brushes, and toothpicks are really handy for this project. So we're gonna start off by making the container for our googly eyeballs with a mason jar. This is so fun and actually really impactful. It looks so pretty. We're gonna first just alter it by globbing some glue right inside. As you can see, I'm being very specific and precise. And I'm just pouring some in there and I'm gonna use my foam brush to smush it around just like this. And then we're gonna set it aside and let it dry. And it'll look like the jar is actually tinted. Next up, we're going to use some of the eyeball shapes, little round ones, and add glitter glue to make scary eyeballs. We're gonna draw in some veins just like this. Notice that I'm using the toothpick to hold it up off of my fingers and it really makes it so easy to work with. Although, a little bit of glitter glue on your fingers isn't so bad either. This one's gonna have a green eye. I also like to keep a spare piece of styrofoam so that it holds it for me while it dries. When they're all done, you're just gonna pop them inside the jar and add a lid and some stickers. Now this says eyes, but you could say boo or whatever, and you're ready to go. To make the spider, we're just gonna do a little decoupage technique. And here I've got a pretty piece of scrap tissue paper I'm just gonna cut it up, or you can even rip it up, that's kind of fun too. And we're just gonna glue it on to the base. Again, glitter glue really makes it pretty and sparkly. It makes it more of a fun spider than a scary spider, but if you wanted your spider to be scary, you could paint them in black temper paint and then use black tissue paper too. So you're just gonna go ahead and lay down the strips overlapping until it's all covered. And I think this one needs some more glue. Really, when you're doing decoupage, more glue is always better. Just like that. And we're gonna just repeat and cover until our ball is covered. Now, we also did a small one in a contrasting color, but it could be the same, but you need one big one and one small one for your spider body. Here's where that gel glue comes in, because now we're gonna take a toothpick and put a little bit on the end and just poke it right in like this. And then we'll cut this off, it doesn't have to be quite so long, and do the same thing. A little bit of glue, whoops, and just poke that in like this. Now that glue will help everything hold together. Now of course a spider wouldn't be a spider without those creepy legs. So we're going to take some chenille stems like this, and we're going to give them a little curl on the bottom so you have something to stand on, and then bend them. Now, I find that it's really helpful to take a toothpick and make a little hole first, then put the glue on and poke it inside, just like so. And of course, spiders have eight legs, so you'll do this, four on each side until he's got the right number of legs for you. Oop. Yeah, that's so cool. And again, you can make him colorful or scary, that's kind of up to you. When you're done, he'll stand up on his own, just like this, ready to scare your friends.